What's going on my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And in this video, I have a nice tip for you when it comes to solving systems of equations. So let's go ahead and dive on in because I wanna show you how something like this isn't terribly, terribly difficult. You have to be a little technical and that's okay, but I'm gonna show you how to handle this if you do see it in your next practice session. So watch this. Solve the following system of equations for what? First of all, you gotta know your goal. When it comes to a system of equations, they could ask you to solve for x, they could ask you to solve for y, and they could ask you to solve for both x and y. That's entirely possible, and we have to be ready to solve for either one of them or both if they ask us to. But the most important thing is, remember, we wanna solve things as quickly as possible, so knowing what you're looking for would save you a lot of time. Here's an example. We're looking for x, right? We're looking for x right up there. Well, what if we went ahead and let's say we understood that with systems, we can solve with elimination or substitution. You might have heard those terms before. Let's go ahead and say you accidentally eliminated x and found out that y equals, let's say, 2 or something like that. Let's say you found that. Well, the thing is, you weren't asked for y, you were asked for x. And if you pick c, then, oh crap, we might be in a situation that we otherwise could have avoided if we knew what we were looking for. So that's tip number one. Tip number one with systems is know what they're asking you to solve for, x, y, or both. Number two, over here now, you might be looking at this with some experience and you might be saying, hey, you know, couldn't I just add the equations together? Yeah, you could, but remember this. The big issue when it comes to systems of equations and elimination is you gotta make sure you're eliminating the right variable and you gotta make sure you're doing the right and same things to both sides. Here's what I mean. So here, if I want to solve for x, it's a very wise idea for me to get rid of the y. If I get rid of the y, then I can just have x equal something and I'm done. But I can't quite do that because I have 10y and 6y. If I add these or subtract these, that's not necessarily going to get rid of the y. But here's what you can do. Here's the tip. You can go ahead and modify the equations. You can multiply everything by the same number so that way you can line up the y's in the same way and get rid of those y's in one swoop. Watch this. So look, if I'm focusing on eliminating the 10y and the 6y, what I notice is that 10 and 6, well, 10 can go into 30, and 6 can also go into 30. So what I'm going to do with that information is I'm going to go ahead here, take this entire equation and multiply it by 3. So that means that the 3 times 4x is 12x. 3 times 10y is 30y and 3 times 24 is going to give me 72. Next up, what do I do with the bottom equation? Again, I notice that 10 and 6 can both go into 30. I have a 30 right there, so I'll go ahead and highlight that. And then over here, I'll take a different color. I can multiply this one here by 5. Again, what was the point of that? The point of that was to get myself 30y on both of these, because 5 times 6y is 30y. And if you want to take it another step further to make things a little easier for yourself, you can go ahead and multiply by a negative 5. Because negative 5 times 10x gives you negative 50x. Negative 5 times 6y gives you negative 30y. And then negative 5 times negative 16 gives you a positive 80. So what am I looking at here? What's the purpose of all of this? Well, again, I now have 30y, and now I have negative 30y. What can I do with this information? If I add these equations together, guess what happens? We have 12x plus a negative 50x. So just treat that like 50 minus 12. That's going to be 38. Also, what you're going to do is be a negative 38 because you have a positive 12 minus 50. You take the difference, but keep it negative. So negative 38x. Those eliminate as predicted, and then you add these together, the 72 and the 80, and that's going to give you 152. So we have negative 38x equals negative or equals positive 152. To find the value of x now, all you need to do is divide both sides by negative 38. And so now your biggest problem here, the biggest problem, which isn't really a big problem at all, is to go ahead and figure out what 152 divided by 38 is going to be. Now, to do that, well, you can kind of look at your answer choices and see that 
you have a negative six and a negative four. Which one of these might be it? So you can go forward or backwards either way. It doesn't really matter to me, but I know my answer is gonna be negative because a positive divided by a negative is gonna be a negative. And now you gotta understand, okay, which one of these is it gonna be? Well, A is gonna go ahead and be the negative four. Well, how do I know? You can go ahead and divide 38 into 152. You can also go ahead and simplify first by dividing both the top and the bottom by two to give yourself, what would that be? 76 divided by uh, 19, which in that case, that would be four still anyway. Or you can go ahead and guess and check by taking 38, multiplying it by four, eight times four, that's gonna give me 32. Three times four gives me 12, add the three gives me 15. So yeah, it'll be negative four. And boom, just like that. And so remember, before you leave here, if you like this video, please make sure to like this video, comment what your thoughts were if you learned something new, and also, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way we can keep producing videos for the thousands of people that follow us just like you. And if you're looking for more help than just these videos, well, I got a ton of work for you, my party people. I have a full program that helps all of my students raise their scores at their pace with their commitments in the way. And the commitments really aren't in the way, they just have to work around them. So if you have a job or have family commitments or have a schedule that doesn't allow you to really figure things out on your own, well then allow me to make things easier for you. I'm Coach Anderson and my job is to help you get the job you want by getting the ASVAB score that you need. So look no further than me. Go ahead, go to duranlearning.com. There's the recommended all access program at the top. Click that button, watch a video on how it works, and then tell me if you like it or not to sign up. So with that said, go ahead and if you have any questions, there's my number 567-698-8867. I want to see you succeed, so go ahead and reach out to me. I'm here to help. With that said, let's ace the ASVAB and I'll see you in the next video.